Keeping a reputation thriving takes dedication, skill, and integrity. The Nordland family had plenty of each and some to spare. It fueled their boat business for over 60 years. During that time, they crafted many boats, repaired countless hulls, and built everlasting relationships. This fantastic journey started in 1958, when Norm Nordland and his wife Phyllis began to create a legacy by building wooden boats for his mainly South Sound clientele. Norm was eager to put his Navy and Martimac repair experience into action. He and a partner of his, uh, Walt Silva, decided to take on building a company. So they bought some patterns for a small 26-foot plywood boat and started Nartland Boat Company here in Tacoma. The company focused on building custom wooden pleasure crafts and commercial fishing boats. It developed a reputation for quality and fairness that would keep their customers coming back. Our dad used to say, you know, making sure that the owner got a good value for what he was paying. Uh, it wasn't always the least expensive, but dad always said that you know, the customer will remember the price for a short amount of time, he'll remember the quality for the rest of his life. Eventually, the market changed, and fiberglass slowly took on wooden hulls. Also, partnerships started pouring in as the designs collaborated with Ed Monk Jr., his son, and Tim Nolan. Uh, without them, we would not have been the Nordland Boat Company that we were. In 1978, after 20 years of hard work, Norm was considering shutting the business down, but his son Paul had another idea. I graduated uh, in engineering and went to work for a structural engineering company out of college. And my mom told me that dad had decided he was going to close down the shop. And I didn't want to see the shop go, so I went down and told mom and dad that I, you know, that I would come down to work for them if, uh, if dad would stay. Norm agreed, and soon his brother Gary would also eventually join the company. As Paul's, I graduated with a degree in civil engineering, worked for a structural engineering firm here in Tacoma. I came to the conclusion I, I, I think I wanted to come back full time to this and uh, it was a family business and, and uh, Paul was already here working and it just seemed like the right thing to do. The generational switch that was made was made soon after we started working. Well, working with my dad, with our dad, first of all, we learned an awful lot and, and both our parents were very, uh, obviously very involved in the business and, and dad was uh, very talented in what he did. We learned a lot from him. With his uh, determination and the way to get things done, it taught you how to work. Meanwhile, Phyllis Nordland added attributes that eventually became embedded in the fabric of the company. She did all the accounting and book work for until she was 77 years old. She was just uh, a joy to be around. And she had a lot of wisdom also. After the transition, Norm kept working for some time on some projects until he finally retired at age 66. Nordland continued to have great success, their reputation reaching new heights. Or one of the big milestones for us was the, uh, the building of the Shadow Facts for the uh, Russell family. Mom and Dad had built a, a boat in 1976 for the Russell family. And in, in, in its own way, that was a milestone uh, of its own. But the second Shadow Fax, which was a 100-footer, put us up into uh, a category of yachts that, that we had not been in before and showed people that we could build boats in, a, in that larger size and also of the quality that was being built around the world. But things wouldn't always be smooth sailing for Nordland. But the brothers always found a way to navigate through rough times by staying true to another of the values their parents instilled in them. The recession, you know, in I think it was 2008, I know that was one milestone that Paul and Gary led us through. Employees are really the lifeblood of the company. Uh, you know, without good employees, we couldn't build the quality of products that were required. And that really, again, goes back to our mom and dad. A lot of their will in doing that, I'm sure, was keeping us going. It's a place that you'd want to come back to. That's why, is because the job that everybody does here is trying to make the dreams come true of what the people have put in front of us. In 2020, after 40 years running the company, Paul and Gary decided it was time to make a decision. We had some opportunities to build some, some more boats. We just decided that we weren't going to be able to commit the number of years it took to build additional boats. We finally told the employees that the company was up 
for sale. To be honest, I was not optimistic that it would be able to be handed off with a company that could take it over and maintain the lifestyle and situation that it is. When Paul called me to tell me that they were going to either sell the yard or they were going to close it down and that they hadn't located a buyer yet, I asked if they had a prospectus. When I first heard it, it was like a no-brainer. He just seemed to be the perfect fit. The great thing about it was they, uh, all the employees remain. He's obviously doing very well. They're very busy here. And this yard has a future based on the quality of the guys who are actually working on the boats day in and day out. With a new captain taking the helm in 2021, Nordland Boat looks to add to its already distinguished legacy of quality and integrity with continued success on the horizon. Our possibilities for the future of the yard are, are fairly unlimited. What we offer is value, and value is not just monetary. Value is the ability to have them driving back out of the Hylobos waterway here, feeling like they got what they paid for with no compromises. I think the most important thing I'd like to convey in this time is my appreciation to the Nordland family, to all of them. The level of trust and confidence that they conveyed to allow me to by the company, uh, working with me to make that happen and allowing me to keep the name Nordland on the building and carry on a legacy that their father started so many years ago and that they have been such intentional guardians allowed us to enter this market with a great reputation that uh, I could never create from scratch. Nordland now starts a new journey, fueled by the foundations that have been built for decades. Its expertise, craftsmanship and camaraderie are the core of what is one of the most trusted boat builders and repair shops in the hemisphere. Lots of yards can build or repair a boat. Few succeed at building long-lasting relationships. Nordland, the boat you wanted the way you want it.